Well, the election is just a few days away, and I have a lot of friends who have been telling me that they're thinking about just sitting this one out. I'm actually asking you not to do that, uh, not really because there are um, other ballot initiatives like, you know, state and local elections and things like that. No, I actually am urging you, all of my friends, go ahead and vote in the presidential election even if you're not voting the way I would vote. I want you to vote your values and do it with a clear conscience. And I think possibly some historical perspective might help in this regard. Uh, what would you say if I told you there was a country not too long ago that went to war with the communists and lost? Well, if you're like me, you would probably say, that sounds like a really noble cause and I'm sorry they lost. And under most circumstances, I would agree with you. But more about that in a minute. Sometimes, when you vote in an election, any grand campaign, you have to choose your enemy and vote accordingly. Now, the way it looks right now, our choices in this election are either the wolf or the snake. Which is your greatest enemy? If your greatest ambition is to defeat the wolf, then you have to vote for the snake. If your greatest ambition is to defeat the snake, you have to vote for the wolf. You have to choose the campaign that has the most promise in defeating what you consider to be the greatest evil facing us right now. Is that there is actually a third enemy. That enemy is the two-party system that has held us in its grasp for so long. If your greatest foe is the, the two-party system, then you have to vote for a third-party candidate. Now, particular election cycle, a third-party candidate is not going to win. Everyone knows that. However, if defeating both Wolf and Snake is your objective and weakening the two-party system is your goal, you should vote for a third-party candidate. You will not defeat the two-party system, but you will weaken it. It's a phenomenon that I've been watching for a few election cycles now. And third-party candidates are gaining ground. I personally would love to see uh, us get out of a two-party system. That's the way they present to us the two worst Americans in our population and tell us that those are our two options. As I said, choose your enemy and vote accordingly. Oh, I almost forgot. Who was that country that fought against the communists and lost? Well, the country I was talking about is Finland. The conflict I'm referring to was World War II. And of course, Finland lost. In order to wage a viable fight against the Soviet Union, Finland had to ally themselves with the Nazis. It was a noble cause, but it wasn't the right time. As I said before, choose your foe, vote accordingly, do it with a clear conscience, and leave history to God.